What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of HRT After Dark. We are back to reacting to stupid fucking people on the internet. I kind of missed it, kind of didn't, which reminds me, my last couple of episodes have been with my friends. Last one was with my girlfriend and friends. I really love that episode. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out right now. We talk about what it's like to date a trans man from the perspective of cis women. But today we're going to be talking about Ariel Scarcella, I think is how you say her last name. She has been around for a long time. She is a cis lesbian who has a lot of opinions on trans people. She calls herself a LGBT activist and a women's rights activist. I don't know how she's any of those things when she shits on both of those things. No hate to lesbians at all, but she is one of those lesbians that excludes trans people. And like people that we've seen, like Blair, Marcus, Buck, she says she supports trans people, but the real trans people, you know, the transsexuals, that's what it's giving. But she's not even trans. She is a cis lesbian. So another person just putting her opinions where they don't belong. Let's just get into it today. We're gonna start off hot. I pulled a lot of stuff from her TikTok because I didn't feel like going through all of her videos. But the one video I have from one of her YouTube videos is pretty recent. Just starts off with her just violating somebody. All cis men on Hinge have the same personality. It's, look how muscular I am. Here's another shoes picture. Look at my boat. <laughs> Are you really gonna sit up in here with your 17 different nose rings, which we know is a leftist staple piece, with your mixed Play-Doh, badly colored, probably on purpose hair, with your trans necklace, really common like after regular ass straight dudes for all being the same? Really? I mean, from what I've been told by straight and bisexual girls at the moment, they're actually lacking traditionally masculine men from the dating pool. We've seen these types of TikToks be go viral over the last few weeks, right? Excuse me. <sighs> Uh, here's me drinking. Mm. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And the fuck prompts are even worse. It's always, like, all of that. And then, like, well, I just, I'm such a good cuddler. And I just want to love and respect you. But at least these guys are talking about their interests on their dating profiles. You are making trans your entire personality. I mean, you literally even have sheets behind you. Those princess drapes in the trans colors. And we see this type of behavior over lot to unpack there. So you can already tell she's just one of those people who thinks that being trans is a trend and that everybody just wants to be trans just to fit in, I guess. That logic has never made fucking sense to me. You think I would you think I would choose this just to fit in? Also, this person who made the original TikTok is way more original than any fucking cis man I've ever met in my life the fuck way more personality than any other cis man i've seen on a dating app are you fucking kidding me and again you're a lesbian you have no interest in men and you're a woman why are you standing up for cis men you're the farthest like a person away from cis men you you don't like them sexually you don't like them romantically you aren't one what are you doing you are quite literally just putting your opinion out there for no reason for shits and giggles. What are you doing here? I don't know why these people have such a problem with trans people saying that cis men are dry and have no personalities, especially on dating apps. Bruh. Yeah, I don't know. That was just a taste of how cruel she can be. Straight up coming for somebody's looks on the internet when she didn't have to, which proves that you are just transphobic at the end of the day. You don't even have any real opinions. You just want to be a dick and you want to put trans people down. Next. Amputesta. I can't make this up. Is a trans-abled identity describing someone who internally feels that they have no head. These people have no brain, really. Or an individual who wants their head removed. Though it should be noted, and they just have this in parentheses, though it should be noted that that person does not want to die. Serious question. Does Sleepy Hollow count as like a fetish movie for these people? You know, the Headless Horseman and whatnot. Senseless. A trans-abled identity referring to someone who internally feels that they have no face. I need a face. 
face. Someone who wants to entirely remove their face, though it should be noted again that this person does not want to die due to dysphoric or euphoric reason. Can these people never look at themselves in a mirror? Like, or in photos? Like, would that trigger them? Would that give them dysphoria? Genuinely asking a question. Also, would this person ever consider donating their face to, let's say, a burn victim? Like, I'm just trying to figure out how these people with these types of mental illnesses could be of service to others in the world. Next, we have... Now, see, that pisses me off because as a trans person who has talked to many, 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 many trans people, I have never heard of these terms before. I'm not saying that they're not real. I'm not going to put my opinion on them because I'm uneducated about them. This is the first time I've ever heard these terms before. But why me, somebody who's very well versed in all things transness, why have I never heard of these terms yet you have? You are lumping these terms in with being trans and calling all of it a mental illness. It's giving you're trying to make trans people look dumb for clout. It's like, I see the motive. The motive is not for LGBTQ rights. It's not for women's rights. You're strictly up here making fun of people. Haven't seen you once talk about weird cis people. Not have I once seen you talk about harmful cis men but you're on the internet constantly every single day picking apart the trans community and finding every weird trans person you can find to make us look bad. Newsflash, weird trans people exist. Fucked up trans people exist. Just like weird and fucked up cis people exist. We're not monolithic. Thank you very fucking much. Point blank period. God. Next. Science has been taken over by queer theory. I've had kids that will tell me that like 50% of their class Identified. is trans. Nine years old. Nine? Yes. Harvard Hospital claims babies know in womb if they are transgender. Okay, so first question is, if they are just a clump of cells, how do they know that they're trans if they're not like an actual human being with feelings? Like, I'm, I'm pro-choice, but I'm also pro-consistency and pro-science. This isn't based in science at all. In fact, they did get a lot of shit for saying this and actually wound up deleting the video in question. But a good portion of children do know as early as seemingly from the womb, and they will usually express their gender identity as very young children, some as soon as they can talk. Rates of gender dysphoria in children have doubled since 2017. In the US, 300,000 teens now identify as trans, which is insane. Round of applause. I think that's pretty fucking cool. I don't know why you're upset about that is insane. Not surprising though, majority of these teens live in blue cities run by Democrats and progressives. We have not seen the same spike in gender dysphoric teens in redder states like Utah. Some will argue of- Oh wow, I wonder why there's not as many trans people in red states. Oh, maybe because they don't feel safe in coming out? Maybe because they're not allowed to come out? Maybe because they don't have rights to come out? The math is there, girl. All you gotta do is think. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't make your argument better by saying that there's not as many trans people in red states. All that does is actually make you look fucking dumb. Of course, people are going to come out where they feel safe. I mean, is it me? I, like, are we good? Are we okay? Are we using our context clues here? I don't know the science behind. I don't, I don't know if people know they're trans in the womb. I don't. I don't know. I don't, nor do I fucking care. Never have I once, specifically me personally, have tried to prove that I felt like a boy in the womb. No, I didn't feel like a boy in the womb. I was barely a person. Like, you're right. I agree with you. But like, why do you care? You're not trans. Uh. <laughs> it has been proven. Most trans people know from a very young age that they are trans. That's it. So I don't know what you're doing, talking about they don't know in the womb. All of this is just hibbity blah blah, hibbity blah blah, to get some views in the fucking internet. Trans girl eats at Disney. Little red wagon corn dog. Seven out of ten so moist. Okay, I cannot be the only person that recognized, that realized, that this person used a word that no woman will use. No woman that speaks English will ever use. Specifically, the last word in that person's sentence. She's talking about the word moist. She is talking about the word moist. Okay, just wanted to make that clear. We can't explain why we don't like it. We get grossed out by it. We, it's out of the vocabulary. It's out of the dictionary as far as we're concerned. Women, you know what I mean. 
we're weird. I mean, you can't, we can't explain it, but it is a thing. You girls know. That's all I want to say. I can't say anything else because TikTok will, will come for my content and, and say that I'm bullying and harassing somebody. So that is. <laughs> Did anybody else just get the ick? Because I got the ick. I am cringed the fuck out. I don't know what the point of this video was. I don't know how you thought it was funny. I don't know how you thought it was relatable, but I have the ick. I think her intention here is to say that this trans woman said the word moist and women don't like the word moist. Therefore, she's not a woman. How old are you? Can I ask? Is that all you had? You couldn't think of anything better for content? You're proud of that? Okay. <sighs> um, I don't think I need to say anything more about that. That's childish. That was, that was childish. Also, it's 2024 20, now. We can say the word moist, right? That's like such a millennial fucking like joke now like come on gender dysphoria has been proven to be an actual real thing that people experience brains are tricky like that right there was even a scientific study a few years back that proved this to be very likely even back then do you remember the story about the twins one of them had a botched circumcision the parents decided to raise him as a girl he got the surgeries had massive gender dysphoria his entire life and then when he found out the truth that he was being raised as a girl even though he was male and was a boy that did not have gender dysphoria that had gender dysphoria because he had these surgeries wound up committing this very experiment proved that raising somebody as the opposite gender doesn't make them the opposite gender and you know what most of us in the lgbt community and overall society were on board with this because of course this is backed by science it doesn't mean that there aren't nuances in the way somebody's body male or female presents itself as far as weight distribution body hair of course some males have more breast tissue than some females of course some females have more body hair than some males being a lesbian i'm not the biggest fan of body hair i don't know what fucking body hair has to do with you being a lesbian okay i'm sure you've heard of that story most trans people have to me the way ariel took that was see this is why this is why you shouldn't change your gender bitch what to me what that says is you always know you always know who you are on the inside Nobody can tell you what your gender is. It is for you to figure out yourself. Which is a non-binary person who's attracted to other non-binary people. Okay, so it's non-binary people that are attracted to other non-binary people. Did I get that right? Because no. Most non-binary people don't get top surgery. They don't go on HRT. They literally just dress differently. If that Oh, she's uneducated. I don't know if I would say most non-binary people don't start hormones or get surgeries. I know for sure I would definitely not say that non-binary people just dress differently. I would say there's a hell of a lot more that goes into it than that, Miss Ignorant. If that was the case, like, an ex-girlfriend of mine changed what she wore and I didn't like it. If she was more in, like, masculine clothes, that means my sexual orientation changed? Like, literally, no. However, this attraction does not need to be exclusive, as it's meant to unify non-binary people. It's also typically used as an umbrella term, meaning it covers a lot of different labels. So does this mean that you're attracted to people when they tell you they're non-binary? Because what if they don't tell you and you don't know, and then you're, like, attracted to them? Do you think that your sexual orientation suddenly changed it? Changed it? Changed it? Changed? To me, this sounds like... Ick, again, cringed out, again. Also, like, it's not that fucking complicated. You are overcomplicating it to make it seem like being non-binary is this really complex fucking thing when it's not. Calm down, sit the fuck down, shut your mouth because you're not even non-binary and you're not even trans. Fight for lesbians, sure. I feel like that's what you're passionate about, but for some fucking reason, you're on the internet talking about trans people. Why? Why? Because you're mad that the T is in LGBT? Bitch, so are we. <laughs> so are we. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Bottom line, you're overcomplicating what non-binary is just to make people think that it's ridiculous and crazy. It's not that fucking crazy and it's not that hard to understand. Mind your own goddamn business. Okay? Okay. Next. They them. I'm oppressed now. I use she they pronouns because gender's fake and I'm not really a woman, but I was raised a woman and I will always be perceived as a woman and I don't have gender dysphoria or any body dysmorphia when it comes to my parts or gender, but I'm not a girl.
Just curious, do you think that these types are quite possibly just basic straight white girls who feel bad about being straight white girls? Like privileged, actual, actually privileged straight white girls? You ever think that most teens are calling themselves queer because they simply just don't fit in? Likely because they're actually just neuro neurodivergent, even though like that's an overused term in these in, in these spaces. Even that has lost like pretty much all meaning because so many people are self-diagnosing. Queer and trans can mean literally anything these days. The far left has stopped gatekeeping and sh has gone bad crazy. I mean, now we have people telling other people <laughs> that they are a non-dysphoric trans person, apparently, because they like to play as female characters in video games. Does that mean I'm a non-dysphoric trans person? Because when I play Mario Kart, I have to play as Mario or Yoshi? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I've talked about it many times, the whole debate of if you need gender dysphoria to be trans or not. I don't, I just, I don't care. <laughs> Like, point blank period, I don't care, so why do you? Look, like, I'm not saying I understand what Blair and Buck, Caitlyn Jenner, like, I'm not saying I get where they're coming from, I'm not saying that, but at least they're trans, you know what I mean? Like, that makes it worse sometimes, yes, but, like, at least maybe they have more of a right to talk about it. Where, like, oh my god, you're just putting your nose in shit where it does not fucking belong. You're a pick me. As a trans person, I don't care if you have gender dysphoria or not. Dysphoria. I don't care if you have gender dysphoria or not. <laughs> you call yourself trans, you tell me your pronouns, I'm gonna respect that. Because why wouldn't I? This is not a new fucking concept. Boiling gender and pronouns and dysphoria down to picking your little video game characters is hurtful. And it's disrespectful. And it's mean. And you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this whole, like, people pretending to be queer to fit in comes from. I mean, I guess I can see where it comes from because I do think that, like, queer baiting is a thing. And, like, I do think there are people out there that pretend to be trans. But, like, trans people know. Trans people know who those people are and we don't claim them. But also we know to shut the fuck up because it's not our place. Because we know the struggle of people telling us who we are. And as a lesbian you would think you understand that too. Like you're pulling content out of your ass and it shows. Like your shit makes no fucking sense. Um, this is the last one. I just need to put it out there. Like I'm so over my day to day life where people cannot f gender me correctly. And the worst part is the people that aren't gendering me correctly are people that know that I'm trans and know that I'm going through transition. Okay, so now just like, let's be clear here. We have two choices. Uh, number one, get angry, uh, make a TikTok about it, and possibly get validated or invalidated by the external world. Or two, let stupid shit like this go. Especially if people are purposefully trying to upset you. Are they really worth your time, your energy? You guys really have to learn how to intentionally disconnect from the drama, from the bull- Are you kidding? Are you fucking kidding me? Who do you think you are? You are a cisgendered woman on the internet telling trans people how to deal with their problems. What? You're a nobody. You don't have any knowledge, any experience with this. You guys need to learn how to just handle this without posting it on TikTok and creating drama. Then what are you doing? You are on TikTok spewing your fucking bullshit, creating drama, getting mad about other people on the internet. You are doing the exact same fucking thing about your own shit. Actually, no, you're on, you're on the internet just causing fucking drama, period. So as a trans person, since I am one, I can sit here and say that that is extremely fucking frustrating. In my personal opinion, from what I can see, trans people don't get mad about people who don't know that they're trans misgendering them. We don't get outwardly mad about it. Internally, we get, we get mad, sure, it hurts, and it's allowed to hurt, and trans people are allowed to get their feelings hurt. Can we say that again? Trans people are allowed to have feelings. We're not here to obey you, first of all. Second of all, we don't get mad when they don't know we're trans. We don't start a scene. But when people, when close ones, when loved ones, misgender us and they know that they're trans, it hurts even more. Or when somebody's doing it just to be a dick, just because they are transphobic, why isn't this person allowed to have a reaction to it? Why 
aren't they allowed to talk about it on their own platform? You don't want to fucking see it? Block them. Don't look. Scroll. You have options. Who like you're acting like, like a therapist on TikTok in this video. You just need to let it go. Like you just need to stop creating drama for yourself. Oh my god. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there before I say some foul shit, <laughs> to be honest. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you watching. Let me know who else you wanna see me react to. I don't think there is enough people standing up against these transphobic people. And maybe I'm petty, maybe I'm toxic. I don't fucking know, but an eye for an eye, bitch. Glad we squared that away. I love you all so much. Please subscribe to my Patreon. That would be great. I would really appreciate it. I always have bonus content up on there. Join my Discord. Turn on my post notifications on YouTube. I would greatly appreciate that. I post every Tuesdays and Fridays after dark and the podcast. If you haven't checked out the podcast, please do. I've talked with so many, so many, so many great and loving trans people, and they deserve to get their stories heard by you. So go check it out. Follow me on Twitch because I stream every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. I love you all so much and I will see you next week. Okay. Bye.